Something so small and little but incredible has happened in the 1.6 update and that is the fact that we can now upgrade the copper pan. We can go all the way to the iridium stage and then once we do get there you can even enchant it to give it some special buffs. We are going to cover it all today. I'm going to get myself a new shiny purple iridium pan. We're going to max it out and buff it up and see what happens when we use it. So we're going to go down to our trusty old blacksmith Clint upgrade our tools and before there was nothing to upgrade because I've got them all but now we can go to the first stage from copper and that is steel and if we read this it says used to gather ore from streams this has a bigger and better yield than a copper pan it also has a small chance to immediately cause another panning spot to appear so you can see the iridium is just going to be so good for panning poxiel is going to love this one this one's for you buddy we're going to be back and forth for a few days waiting for all these to to upgrade it always bugged me how we had some tools that weren't iridium such as the scythe that we have now got and this is amazing by the way i love the iridium scythe being able to harvest my crops is the best thing and of course another thing that was always bugging me was the pan the copper pan it was always at copper stage i'm so glad we can upgrade it we could even upgrade the trash can to iridium come on it's so good that the pan got what it deserved your steel pan is ready oh that's such a weird sight to see but it's a good one i see that the update still didn't remove this goddamn annoying rock oh so frustrating oh look at that there's a pan spot right down the bottom corner i'm wondering if the range increases on the iridium because that was always one problem for me but there we go, the steel pan is complete. Let's go. We're not going to go there, we're going to upgrade it straight to gold. And then we've only got, oh, this is quite expensive this is. But then we've only got iridium to go. Last day of autumn, and the gold pan is ready. And there's the gold pan done. One more to go. Right, the last one, the iridium 25k. Come on. I can't wait to enchant this and see how good we can make the iridium pan. And there we go, there's the Iridium Pan. Look how shiny and awesome that looks. Let's go. Time to go to Ginger Island and enchant this bad boy. It might be cold and snowy in Pelican Town. Oh, I was going to say, but it's beautiful and sunny over here, but no. It's not much better, is it? <laughs> that was a fail. That was a big fail. But it's time to enchant our Iridium Pan. If you're curious as well, you can actually enchant the new advanced Iridium Rod, just like the other one. But sadly, we can't enchant the Iridium Scythe. I thought maybe we could have put something on this, but you can't. So let's go with the Iridium Pan. We've obviously got to use shards. And let's see which one we get. I think there's three or four in total. We'll go through them all. So the first one is Generous, which basically, I think, is a 50% chance of double item. So let's say you get a lucky ring. There's a chance, a 50% chance, you'd get two. Absolutely insane. So that is one. That's actually a pretty good one. Let's go in with the other ones. See what else we can get. The next one is Reaching. So this will increase the charge up capacity for greater area of effect. Wow. So it increases the maximum area of effect by five tiles. We should try and use all of these. That might be the area of effect that I was talking about. Okay, so Generous and Reaching. Do we get another one? Fisher. I actually don't know what that one means. I'm not sure what that one is. I can't find anything about it. I'm guessing maybe there's a chance to get some kind of fish uh, when you pan as well. Archaeologist. Is that going to allow us to get treasure and artifacts? So I think this is the same with the hoe, right? There's a double chance of finding heart artifacts. Maybe it's along the same lines of that. This is the one I want. Reaching. I'm going to try it out and see if I can get those uh, out of reach pan spots. Let's see if it works. Yeah, so I have confirmed there is only four enchantments you can have on the pan. That is the Archaeologist, there is Generous, Fisher and Region. Now this is usually where you sometimes can't reach. But I am seem to be not having no problems now. Well, keep testing this out. I know sometimes they can come down here, right in the far corner that you can't reach. Look at this. Three in a row, because there's that 50% chance. Oh, we found a golden mystery box too, and an artifact trove. So because we've upgraded it to Iridium, there is now a chance for one just to pop straight up in the same position, which is so good. We've got three in a row right there. 
So I, I did say it was a 50% chance to immediately cause another panning spot to appear, but that's not the case. It just says it has a chance. So we don't know what the percentage of that is. It's definitely not 50%. So I guess if you're looking for artifacts and there's still quite a few that you need, definitely get archaeologists to help you find them. If you want some fish, I, I'm not 100% sure what a fisher is, but I'm assuming you get some kind of fish. Uh, so maybe if you want some money or you need certain fish, go for that. The generous seems to be quite good because there's a 50% chance where you get double the items. I feel like that's probably the best one to have. And then there's this region here. I'm trying to test it out. Can't really tell a difference. Um, until there's one clearly out of reach, I could test it. But normally with the region, you have to like do a, a charge up. So let's say you're using the watering can. You charge up and it gives you one extra charge up, right? To do it in an even bigger area. But with the copper pan, you don't charge it up. So... I'm not sure how reaching works on the pan compared to the hoe and the watering can, which is the two other tools you can have the, that enchantment on. So I'm not sure the difference because there's no charge up on this. I'm wondering if it's just the same without the charge up. You get the five by five tile, uh, but that seems pretty far. Okay, now this is the test guys. This one here, I could never ever get before. And now I can. There we go. Reaching allows you to gain extra reach with the pan spot. A very, very good one. I'm going to test it out between the Generous and this. I'm not sure which may be a bit more beneficial for me. There's only a few times that pan spots get out of reach, but it can be quite frustrating. So, yeah, unless you want double the items, maybe it's the best one to go with. Whilst we're on the topic of forging and enchanting tools, one awesome thing that has came to the 1.6 update is the fact that we can now craft a mini forge basically allowing us to do this from the convenience of our home. We can also get the anvil as well, which allows us to reforge the trinkets, which are new things that have came to 1.6. I will do a separate video on that. So you place it down, you use it, and it's basically access to the forge without going all the way to Ginger Island. So if you do want to change any of these enchantments, this is the perfect thing for you. But there we go, guys, that has been the brand new copper pan which is now able to be upgraded all the way to the iridium stage and on top of that you can enchant it with four different enchantments of your choice whatever suits your playstyle, to make the pan even more better than it is at iridium extra yield a chance for another pan spot to automatically appear and enchantments on top of it but also it just looks darn cool and i'm glad that all my tools are now iridium nothing is odd if you enjoyed it please smash the like button stick around for more 1.6 videos i've got loads more cooking up in the oven but until then guys stay safe stay cozy